What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, uh, I definitely wanted to talk about T.T. Terry, man, because um, I think right now, I'm look, you know, a lot of us right now are talking about who's going to be the main faces, who's going to be the best female athletes in this generation coming up of U.S. track and field athletes. And obviously, if we go back a year, one of those athletes was supposed to be Shakari Richardson, right? And now that Shakari Richardson is kind of starting to fade off a little bit, uh, other names are starting to step up. And I think last weekend, one of the names that really imp was impacted from Abby Steiner's relay races is T.T. Terry. And this is why, this is why I'm, I'm, the next video I'm going to make about Abby is going to be about um, her impact on the U.S. track and field scene and how and how she elevates everybody around her just by being in the sport. And uh, we're going to talk about that next week when it comes to Abby Steiner because I think it's very important to go over. And TT uh, might be one of the, might be one of those products of athletes that was overlooked, but it's starting to get her star power up because of her runs at the relay races. So let's talk about that a little bit. So T.T. Terry at the Eric Murphy Classic. And, and a lot of this also had to do with the fact that Shikari Richardson did not show up. So that allowed T.T. Terry to uh, to shine, right? It allowed T.T. Terry to shine. So T.T. Terry won the Ed Murphy Classic in the Women's 100 Meters. And it was an impressive time. She beat Tamari Davis, uh, 10.82 10 to 10.83. Very nice score for T.T. Terry, by the way. And a lot of people are starting to really, like, gravitate towards T.T. Terry now because she's got the cool name T.T., even though her name is Twanisha. But, like, you know, people are starting to call it T.T. because Twanisha Terry, T.T., both of her names, her initials have T in the beginning. So... Uh, so everybody's calling her TT, and she was always a good college athlete, a good, a good, a, look, a very good prospect uh, out of college. So, a TT Terry is someone who could be one of those faces, and she could really. I think the person that she could really take over, like, is Shakari Richardson. Now, Abby has taken over Shakari Richardson's spot, but the reason why I think it could be directly. Going forward with TT is because the audience that Shikari, that was mainly attracted to Shikari, was black people. So that audience could definitely relate to someone like TT Terry. Now Shikari was a bit of a ratchet girl. She, you know, had the long nails, into the fashion thing, and you know, was hanging out with Kanye West and all this other stuff. So she's kind of involved on that hip hop scene. So. She was becoming relatable on that level, but it seems like TT has that little flavor and stuff like that. She's not really, I don't really call her like ratchet or anything because I don't, I don't, she don't really come off as ratchet to me, but um, she, she still got that kind of flair, that attitude that could be attracted to black um, track and field viewers. And I think TT Terry can maybe reach the audiences that Abby Steiner's not going to reach or Cindy McGlocko or thing Mo. And that's why I'm saying that there's room for that kind of athlete to shine. And so T.T. Terry could be that face. Uh, is it too, it's, to me, it's a little too early right now to declare it, but I think she's got a chance to do it because as long as Shigari doesn't rise back up, who else is going to take that spot right now? I mean, T.T. Terry is becoming one of the better sprinters in the game she's gotten her confidence up from these relays she's probably more people probably know who she is than some of the other prospects that have been in the individual events because of the fact that she was just on that relay team and this is why again i'm going to make this video about abby's impact in the sport because just by abby being on those two relay teams it elevated the the noticeability of a Talitha Diggs, a Brittany Wilson, even a Sydney McLaughlin got elevated a little bit, and we're gonna talk about that too. And then on the 100 team, I mean Prandini was pretty much already known, but Prandini got even more noticed on that team than she probably ever been noticed in her whole entire career, even though she's been around for a while. 
But you got her, and then you got um, Melissa Jefferson, another youngster who got some fame from that. So, T.T. Terry, now winning this, is starting to get people noticing about her. Like, if she could keep this up, there's a spot for her to be, to take Shikari's spot. And that's why I made this video, because I want to hear from y'all to really know, like, where do y'all think T.T. can go? Or do y'all believe in TT that way? Do you? I mean, do you think she's a flash in the pan? Like, what do you think? You know, because I think she's got a. I think really, she's got her stuff together too. Like, I feel like she's not like Shakari. Where now, I want to say about Shakari too. Shakari, the reason why Shakari is falling down like she has, is because of her mother. And when you lose someone like that, it's definitely going to shake everything up in your life. And I think that's a big reason why Shikari has slipped like she has. I think she's I think she's still grieving about that, and it's distracting her off the sport. Like it doesn't have she's able to she doesn't she's not able to be focused. But with TT, you know, I think that she's going to have a better focus, and it's going to help her have longevity in this sport. So. If you ask me today who I'm more confident in, I'm going to say T.T. Terry right now. So that's why I wanted to hear from y'all. But go ahead and get this video a like, y'all. Definitely hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put it below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit that super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. So, uh, like I said, you know, that's why the next video I make about Abby Steiner is definitely going to, because I had someone in the comment section point out something very very good about how Abby can actually elevate everyone's popularity up a lot more than it is right now just by being in the sport. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. Now, I've also talked about T.T. Terry, uh, her winning the Ed Murphy class. So if y'all want to go back and watch that, that's obviously going to be on the end screen here. And y'all can go back and watch that video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. After News Delight.